Great. So next one is Udi Veris as a service. Hi, my name is Thomas. Uh, I'm here with uh, Nicolas and with Hervé. Um, as you probably heard, uh, we already announced, I think at the beginning of the Hack Day, that we wanted to connect our two products. Uh, so MuseScore, the uh, score editor, and then Odiviris, uh, which Hervé worked on for almost how many years? 10 years now. Uh, Odiviris is open source um, yeah, score, uh, um, I own Mars software, so optical music recognition software. And so uh, a lot of our users are actually asking how can we convert our PDF sheet music into your system, so into digital scores. And so we figured already a long time ago we should make this happen and it's, this is actually the first time that we are all together. So this weekend we worked very hard to connect uh, the both of them. Uh, so it's a web service and uh, what you do is just uh, choose a PDF. In this case, uh, it's a rather clean PDF as you can see. So we didn't make it that challenging for us. Uh, if you would try this with uh, handwritten sheet music, it won't work. Uh, but the better the PDF is scanned, uh, the better the uh, end result. So Nicola is going to choose that PDF, then uh, it's been uploaded to the Amazon cloud. And then eventually, what you should do is uh, save, save it. And now it's been sent uh, via Amazon SQS to an EC2 server. Now we were a little cheap. Uh, we didn't buy the uh, mega 64 core uh, EC2 server, which might have done the job a bit faster. Okay, at 10% already, so, so it's going well. Um, as you can see, uh, we have some lock output there. Uh, this is normally something a user won't see, obviously. Uh, we just show you uh, what the progress is. It's one server, so it's one queue. Um, if you put the PDF on there, it will just wait in the queue until it's your time. Um, so the more PDFs are being uploaded, the longer it will, uh, will take, obviously. Um, I, not sure if I can talk a little bit more uh, about Odiviris, but perhaps you, Hervé, you have some, some works? Um, well, Odiviris, you, you know the purpose. It's to be able to transcribe uh, an image, such as a PDF, to uh, some music XML file. Um, the, the key point here is that we have separated the two parts, MuseScore on one hand and Odiveris on the other hand, and the difficulty was to be able to connect the two through the internet and especially through the Amazon uh, toolkit. Okay? And as uh, Thomas told you, we were a bit surprised this morning to see the, uh, the amount of actual CPU we were able to get out of Amazon. Just to give you a comparison, uh, the processing of that same file on my own laptop, which has nothing special, lasts about five seconds. See, and this is not only the network. So we think there is something that we call room for improvement here, right? Yes, there's definitely room for improvement. Uh, a bigger server would definitely help. No, so, no, there is a bug somewhere. Ah, there is a bug. Okay, all right. That's for next time then. Uh, so the result is uh, coming back in a form of XML, so music XML. Uh, this kind of file you can open in any uh, notation software, so Sibelius Finale or uh, the free uh, MuseScore. And this is actually the result. So uh, just to show you what it really means to have a digital normally, if the sound would be plugged in. But uh, so that's uh, one of the, uh, of the great advantages of having digital scores as opposed to uh, PDF files. I mean, you can actually listen to the score and hear how it should be played. Uh, which is uh, a very simple but very helpful thing for musical learners. learners uh. So there you go. 
All right, so that was a hack. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Great, great. So uh, we have MuseScore image renderer next. One more hack made with MuseScore, um, and the MuseScore lead developer Wenner is coming on stage. He has a Linux machine, so hopefully the VGA, VGA output will work. It's always challenging. So basically, um, we got a lot of requests of people asking, is it possible to uh, set up MuseScore in a way that it's spitting out uh, images? Um, after all, images are still very important on the internet. Uh, look at Pinterest and so forth. Um, so it's quite uh, yeah, a thing that people ask. I want my sheet music uh, on a certain size uh, to be displayed for a certain device. And uh, the easiest thing is, of course, images. So as uh, MuseScore is able to export a PDF and so forth, um, we wanted to set up MuseScore as a service uh, where the sheet music is spitted out within, nicely fitted within the format that you want. Um, so he worked on this this weekend, um, and I think uh, this, this morning he managed to, uh, to get it working. All the code is on GitHub, by the way. So that means that uh, if you, for instance, uh, if you take a, a MuseScore file, and let's start with the, uh, the first test there, uh, and you simply want the PNG, then you submit that file. Actually, this is on, on this local machine, so it's not something that we have set up in the cloud yet. But as you can see, it just returns a PNG. Now, uh, the same test there, but then scaled 150%, as the sheet music was rather small. As you can see, the sheet music is very nicely uh, fitted uh, to the, sh the, um, the PNG. This is something similar as we saw uh, before with news scores, but then just as an image. And uh, uh, a third uh, example is uh, with transposition. So the same file again, but then transposed uh, a full step. And this is the result again. So uh, if you are looking for something, uh, an app, that you want to make and it needs sheet music as an image, just plain and simple. You can simply set up a MuseScore as a service to yourself. It's all free and open source uh, and, and available on GitHub. That's it. Thank you. We have automated music analysis next.